We're back with part five. Uh, we are doing this roughly two weeks after the initial one. The volume's still a little high. Let me change that. I hate having to activate the YouTube player here because it shows, yes, we're just recording this video off of YouTube, but that's the only way we can really do a post commentary. That's true. Well, it's the only way we can right now without sending each other an overly long video that we don't have anymore. Yeah. <laughs> if we still had the video, that'd be a completely different thing. That's but we true. don't. Uh, anyway, how have you been over the last two weeks? Oh, aside from the fact that it's a surprise we didn't do this six months later. <laughs> I really apologize for that, because of school and time. Yeah, so. school school makes complete sense to me. Well, not really, since I'm not a college student, even though I really should be. Uh, I don't like school. Never did. Man, sometimes the work that that's given there is too much, though. Sometimes it really can be. I mean... Hell, my school had this really fucking stupid graduation requirement. You had to be accepted to a college, or you wouldn't be allowed to graduate. Wow, I think my my requirement was that we you need to do 60 hours of community service. Yeah, mine had 40. 40? Oh. Yeah, that that's actually standard, apparently. Oh, okay, okay. So and that's, I, I, yeah. And I started like 13 hours of mine. So. Yeah, <laughs> I just got, basically what happened was my grandfather owns his own business. And basically, I just worked for him for like 20 hours, and then he said, you did good enough, and just signed off the rest of the hours for me. <laughs> so it's like, thank you, Grandpa. You are fucking awesome. <laughs> and literally the only reason why I graduated high school, because I am such... somebody who's so incapable of being social that I could not do that. Oh. Like, I'm a shut-in. <laughs> like, do not go outside because you are fe fear. Wow. And, okay, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I've forgotten most of what I was doing here. Finally, now I can log on to Skype. Wait. <laughs> oh, on your computer. Yeah. Because, and... when, because Vegas is rendering it, it slows down everything. Oh, yeah, I know. That's how, um, freaky, uh, what's it called, works with me. Um, Power Director. Unfortunately, Power Director's still ha bugging out, so I still can't use it. Oh. Which is the only reason why you're rendering these and I'm not. Uh, otherwise, I'd be doing my best to make these. Well, either that or I could've just sent them to Derek. I think the reason why it's taking like so long to render is because I actually... Like, when I render anything... You, ch or, like, you change it to 1080p? Yeah. No, 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 not 1080p, like 720p, but then what I do is I, I like to make it look so visually good. That makes sense. It's a little hard to do when it's in a crappy setting to begin with, and then change, attempting to change it, you know? Like, what we have it out right now, the screen's already stretched pretty heavily. And then I had to, like, I also had to do that, so the black bars, I actually went into uh, Photoshop and GIMP, and then made my, the, my own custom sidebars for it. Nice. And then, like, on the... I think it was part two. I put make sure to subscribe, and I put a sub sandwich over there. Uh, yeah, said, yeah, I noticed that. That that confused me. <laughs> People said they wanted the sub sandwich back, so. Yeah, I saw that too. I also still remember. That. Oh god, I hope that content doesn't come back. You know the one I'm talking about too. Which one? That comment. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, so much. He wants to bone Cyrus badly. Do not remind me! I don't need to know that about people. I don't need to know their sexual preferences, unless they may be by chance. Never mind, I'm not saying that. <laughs> anyway, um, I believe right now I'm actually hunting for the super missile. I have no idea where it is. Unless this is it, in which case I'm a liar. No high jump, which still works. Actually, as far as this goes, I think I've mentioned this already, but I will encounter a glitch later that for some reason gives me power bombs before I actually get them. Really? Yeah. I don't know what the hell did it. I'm loading the, now I'm loading the video. Nice. Hopefully I'm not too quiet in it again, because I've realized this mic is a piece of crap. 
Like I, my phone's mic is horrible. Anything. Yeah, you, you come in really well though. When I okay, I found out my own voice doesn't come in that well in my videos because oh. my mic is a piece of crap. Then what I have to do, I probably for some parts I might have to put captions. Yeah, that your mic has been coming in pretty well. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's coming in pretty fine. But if you need to put in captions, go around my head. Personally, I prefer just to let the <laughs> I prefer to just let uh, YouTube do it on its own to see what the heck comes up. Yeah, oh my gosh, the captions they Oh, <laughs> I left the I left um the video for Burrito Bison. That was up. Uh, hi, Liam. <laughs> I hope that didn't appear in the video because I just got a message saying Liam was uh online and uh, commanding Conquer Three. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, we can't do the LP because, well, we wanted to do a co-op LP. We can't do that anymore because they shut down the co-op servers. Oh, and, well, right. the online servers as a whole. By the way, this thing bugged me for like, well, this thing bothered me forever. I could not figure out what the fuck I was doing. Alright, what time at, What time are you at on the video for part 5? Um, give me one sec. Um, 621, 622, 23, 24. Alright. And I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going when it's pretty freaking obvious. Go down there, jackass. Go down! I played uh, this earlier just so I can put it in the... Like, I made a duo intro for us. Really? So, yeah, so, like, I had to play this game a little while, and it was so different from Fusion. Like, if I know! <laughs> it feels... First off, Samus can actually take damage in this, right? And it felt really weird, and I was like looking for like a, um, a re like some resource stations. I can find any that, that don't exist in this game. I found out there are none in this game. Yeah, there's well, only like, the technically there are the Chozo statues, but yeah. But I, I like Samus's animation when she's running. Yeah. Samus, is, Samus is really well animated versus something like say Metroid Two. I just realized I knocked my mouse to the side a bit. Uh, Metroid 2, no, Metroid 1 and 2, Samus had this really awkward running animation. Mm. Metroid 1 especially, she looked like she was a fucking chicken. <laughs> I'm not kidding, look at the animation. Yeah, and also, like, one thing I did read about on a website is that for when Samus turns into a morph ball, it actually turns out the creators couldn't, ma couldn't make Samus crouch back then. But the only thing yeah, they yeah, do yeah, so they had to do that. Yeah. Which, in all honesty, now it's only in there because it's, uh, well, it's kind of become a staple. Yeah. I mean, if it didn't become a staple, then I'm... Oh my god, I just realized this thing was there. That pisses me off when... You know when you f suddenly find that thing that could have helped you for so long? And it was yeah. freaking... It wasn't exactly obvious, it's got that issue that all Metroid games do. Where you're lost yeah. for a little while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And I also did get, um, the original Metroid for... 3DS on a Nintendo giveaway thing. Really? And I didn't know they had that. It. And then I played this. This was really, really way different from it. Oh, yeah! Different is... Different is being kind about it, shall mm -hmm. we say. Also, if you've actually got a DS, I feel fucking lucky for you. Because Persona Q is coming out in the fucking DS. <laughs> I'm a fan of the Persona series. I've played every single one of them except for that one that was a Japanese only release. Although I think that's on the PSP now. I'm not gonna get into a Persona thing while we're playing or while we're watching Metroid. It's really not a good idea. <laughs> but yeah. This game just compared to a lot of the 2D Metroid games feels very different. Yeah. I mean I went to this immediately after Fusion, and I was so con I felt really confused actually, because it definitely feels different. The most scary thing was while I was playing, when I was going to Norfair, mm -hmm. like, well, well, actually, well, after I got the bomb and the missiles, there was this thing that this worm thing. That the eye, that yes, the yeah. worm. Fuck that I thing. I jump cut in that area. It actually killed me three times. Like, when I encountered it, I think I literally jumped from my seat. I yeah, I know, that thing's scary the first time you fucking see it. 
Yeah, I did not expect that. Oh my gosh. It's a good jump, though, you know? It's like, well, it's a Metro game, we know there's gonna be an enemy, because we just got an item, but where is it? And you can tell something is either gonna go wrong, or like, it, there's an enemy when you after you get an, uh, an item. Yeah, if you don't fight an enemy for your item, you know something's up. Now, I'm pretty sure this is me being lost trying to find something. Hmm. Oh no, wait, no, I finally have the high jump boots so I can get to the other area. At least I think that's what's up. No, I missed an area I could have gone into quite some time ago. That leads me nowhere! Oh, the, the hole you just dropped down? Yeah. Well, it doesn't technically lead me nowhere, it's more of a case of, okay, it's around here somewhere, where the fuck is it? Because the whole time I'm playing this, I have a guide open next to me. Because Metroid is kind of one of those games, kind of like the original Legend of Zelda that I got lost in while I was trying to find Dungeon 3. Mm -hmm. One thing about this is that, like, I think that I like is that they don't tell you where to go, unlike Metroid Fusion. Yeah, Fusion was a bit too linear. They'd say, all right, now you're going to have to go to this sector go to go solve this problem. Mm -hmm. Right after with that, you're going to have to come back here to the navigation room, and then you'll have to head over here. That really wasn't a good way of doing things. Yeah. Although, I'm not going to lie, there were some very tense moments, like when you're uh, encountering the ice-based uh, the ice based uh, X-Parasite for the first oh, yeah. time. Mm -hmm. That is that, terrifying. That, no, no, wait, was it a nightmare? The, the ice-based one, I said, not nightmare. Although Nightmare uh, was pretty terrifying in and of himself. The music for it was weird, and the, I think the way it screamed, it sounded like a, uh, a dying cat or something. Yeah, Ridley's scream was the one that broke your fucking speakers. The, oh, the lag was real when I was fighting that thing. You can go... Oh, Nightmare? That's not lag. That's just it. That... No, it's not, not my Nightmare, Ridley. Go oh, Ridley? I never encountered any lag when I was fighting him. Like, if you look on my video and... Yeah, yeah, I'll take a look. Well, not now, because we're in the middle of this, but... I'll take a look. I didn't... I've never actually encountered lag while fighting Ridley. It's weird. Oh, gosh. I think my whole... I think the emulator I was using, like, slowed down so much. Yeah, I've never... That's weird. I've never seen that. At least wow. not against Ridley. The places you can go at... How do you do... How do you know you, you were supposed to shoot up there? Um, because I can see through the uh, area. If you look back a little bit, you can see you can see through the area just oh, okay. a little bit. And it's yeah. like, I thought, well, what's up there? So I tried checking it out. And wouldn't you know it. And this is where I learned something a bit crucial to the game. See those bugs? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta wait for them to do that, because it's showing you you can do this. And... Actually, I do something you're not supposed to. Well, at least I don't think you're supposed to. It'd be kind of dumb if you were it's supposed to take damage in order to do something. Oh, they're they're absorbing the um. Yeah, they they absorb. Yeah, they absorb it. And also, you can actually um. This is something I learned while playing it. Um, you can actually uh, get Samus can actually have them on her and pass them over to a plant. Oh, okay, okay. So, so it's almost like a puzzle thing you, you're doing. Yeah. What is that thing you just fell in? Acid? I believe so. I'm not exactly sure. I've read somewhere that um, Norfer has a relatively toxic environment. Oh. So it's either <clears throat> some form of acid or the environment's poisonous. Or, or, bleh, or it's lava. Or the environment's like, poisonous. What the fuck is that? Are there any, like, are the bosses hard? The, I think, I know I couldn't be, like, it just ran away every time I encountered it. The worm? Yeah. Yeah, the worm, you can encounter, I think the second time you have to kill it, don't you? Uh, like, uh. uh. Right. Oh, the Varia suit, thank god. No longer taking unnecessary heat damage. Prevents damage from acid and heat. Nice item. Oh, Alright, sorry, I'm back. Right. And no shoulder pads, damn it. I like those shoulder pads. Oh, and I did a jump cut there because I actually got lost for like an hour. Oh, the Samus turned different? The No, yeah. the shoulder pads aren't there. The color oh. is a bit deeper, but that's it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I did yeah. notice I did notice Samus's 
um, color palette was just yellow and not like orange. Wow, the, the places you can find in here, I think if I was playing this, I probably wouldn't have noticed it. Well, it's the fact that I've got the Varia suit now, so the oh. so since the acid doesn't damage me anymore, I figured I might as well explore. Oh, okay. And I found that. And then this is just me trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. This takes me a few minutes to figure it out, I think, but I see the bugs and I'm like, this is when I figured out the thing with the bugs. I try leading them over and just like, nothing's happening. Oh. Well, there's the one's over there. It's in the pipe somewhere. Yeah, this one is a puzzle that you wouldn't think to do normally. You'd think, okay, get them to follow me. Not get them to... I hope this isn't the actual solution to the puzzle that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Like, if that's the actual solution to the puzzle, that's a bit of an issue on my part. Well, I have an issue with it, is what I'm saying. Hold on, I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah, you got two bugs down there. So while stealth's gone, I'll continue to commentate. Well, what's going on here is uh, an interesting little thing. I'm actually confused out of my mind right here. I see the bugs, but I can't figure out how to get them there. I'm trying to shoot, see if there's anything I'm missing. Trying to draw some aggro. And then I finally realize, oh! With a jump cut. They get off of ya. Goodbye, my bug friends. Yes, I have no idea why stealth left, but I assume it's something to do with that yell I heard earlier. Chozo! Or if this was... I'm just going to make mention of this now. There is a Metroidvania game called Guacamelee. It is very much in the... It's very much like Metroid. And I'm pretty sure I was in Brinstar a while ago. Whatever, though. Anyway, so we're on our way to Brinstar again. There's more places to explore and more stuff to do. So let's see what we're doing now. Well, I already have an idea because I think I rewatched one or two of these prior to us actually doing them again. And I didn't mean again like we we're doing this another time. Anyway, so we're gonna go to Brinstar, and I'm pretty sure we have to. Yeah, this is why that this is why the Varia suit is really good in this game. Complete and total bypassing of an enemy. It makes a lot. It makes a good amount of the game easier. Well, that and more falls just a lot faster than other things. Add them together, and you've got a pretty good area, actually. And more bugs. <clears throat> now, it's unfortunate that I forgot here that you actually need the. If I had the. If I was using the um, Shine Spark here, I could have very easily actually um, made it through this area. Because if those uh, blocks down there that I tried to bomb, you can break them with the Shine Spark. And I honestly have no idea why that's there, aside from that. Yes, yeah, so you need to get a bomb over there, which should technically be an easy thing to do. But because of my incompetence, is not. Yes, remember how I said incompetence? I meant the enemies are gonna own me because I suck at the game. And let's see, can I do it this time? Bomb it. And no, I can't, because I suck. Now, the thing is, there's actually a hive up there that I don't know about. Or at least I didn't think I knew about it, so I'm going to try and find it. No, I'm not. I thought I was going to go and try and find it. And suckage. I'm really determined to get this missile tank. Hmm. 
Like, I am unnaturally determined to get this. I have no idea why. Yay! Mr. Tank acquired. Woohoo! And we continue on with the adventure now. Let's see, let's see. And a swarm. No issue at all. Oh crap, I feel a sneeze coming. Nope, nope, nope it's gone. It's not gone, it's still there. Oh god, that feels weird. Anyway, so, if I'm correct, uh, I do believe we'll actually be fighting Ridley very soon. If not Ridley, then, um, who was it? Yeah, I'm just exploring a little bit more here. And we know we're gonna fight Ridley. We had the cutscene with him saying, Hmm, yes, Samus Aaron is down there. I don't know why that's his voice, it apparently is. Why did I give Ridley that voice? I honestly don't know why I gave that voice to Ridley, I'm confused myself. Anyway, we're heading to that area where I couldn't get in before because of the lava. Or because of the heat. I really should have saved there, me. Wait, what? Oh, that must mark the end of the part. It normally does. It did not. Oh, I've got a few more minutes. Okay. That normally marks the end of a part when I go and save. But no, I guess I was freaking out a little bit. Now then... Let's see. So, that lava area, I'm trying to remember exactly what was in it, aside from, I believe, a missile expansion. Yeah, by the way, 255 missiles every game. Every game. And no, there's not 100% map completion, I don't think. Oh god, and I've set my sight on it. Oh my, I'm going to be at this for a while, I think. And... No, no, I've got... No idea where I'm going, actually. I'm completely confused as to what I'm doing, I can tell that. I realize I went into the wrong room, and... Here we go, let's see what's behind this door. Alright, finally I... Oh, there you are. I've been doing this com I've been doing nothing but commentary, pretty boring ones, for like yeah. ten minutes now. My bad. Yep. And wait, what? I the Vari I just you came back at a pretty good time. Mm -hmm. Um twenty three thirty two. I just found out that hey, I can still take damage from lava if I'm in the Varia suit. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm I see it now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I forgot what we were talking about prior, but whatever. Uh, this LP was pretty fun. I only died, I think, a total of six times. And there was an obvious jump cut. Obvious jump cut is obvious. Well, I didn't even see the jump cut. Really? Yeah. Actually, hold on, wait. Hey, I think you're still a few seconds behind me. Alright, now it's okay, yeah, I see it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, you're like you're like three or four seconds behind me. In from the left and went to the right. Yep, and then I'm trying it again. This time, I'm making sure I'm firing to keep the door open. Oh, cause you want to go down there. Yep. All right. No, I don't exactly remember what's anywhere right now. All I know is that I'm on the hunt for super missiles and for Ridley. Well, then again, it's a Metroid game. There should normally be a hunt for Ridley in it. 
Metroid Prime 3 had two, which is why I very much like the game, because I like the Ridley fights. Uh, actually, what is your favorite boss from the Metroid series? Um, let me see. Let me think. Uh, like in any mu in any Metroid game, or uh, like this like one? Like, an overall, like, okay, this is my favorite boss from all the Metroid games combined. Because mine goes with Ridley. Let me see, maybe... Cheap. My favorite one. I don't want to say Ridley, because then it'll just be like, oh yeah, it's just Ridley. But... Uh, let me see, I think it's that arachnid monster from Fusion, that like spider monster. Oh, that fucker. That, th that thing took me forever to figure out how to beat, just getting its pattern down, you know? Yeah, cause like, you, you destroy it and its head will go spinning and it's... it's yeah, that, that's just ridiculous, it's just a ridiculous boss. Okay. It's really fun, I will admit. Well, when you know what you're doing, when it's just kicking your ass left, right, and center, not so much. Yeah, and I think they have different, um... I think they have different Japanese and American names for them. They do. This Japanese name was, I think, Yamakuza or something. That sounds about right. Yeah, and then, I don't know if I'm right. I probably, I made a, a Metroid Fusion boss compilation video. I don't know if I'm right. I don't know if its American name was Guido or something. Gui Guido? Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, I'm sorry, you just reminded me of one of the funniest things I've seen out of a Shin Megami Tensei, out of the Shin Megami Tensei series. Okay, so you're playing Persona 1, and um, from America to, from Amer uh, Japanese to American, the main villain's name got changed. I don't remember what his original name was, but they changed his name to Guido. But, okay, by the time you make it to his uh, final fight area, he's, when he enters his super form, he yells, NOW I'M SUPER GUIDO! <laughs> that line just... That line just... <laughs> just it's just ridiculous! <laughs> I don't think it's Guido. Uh, I'll check later. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Funnily enough, he came back in Persona 2. Uh. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, this green thing. I remember when I was walking, when I was uh, playing this, it was just... Oh random. yeah, that the, the, the doors just locked at random, and it's like, how do I get out of here? And then, BOOM! Yeah, uh, end like, of the part. I didn't go any further, because I tried to shoot... The